And before the ladies get going, we got Richard here in the hot seat. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's going on, hey, man? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Congrats. Uh, yeah, we wanted to get you over here because it was your the second event. You came... No, sorry, first event. Crushed the first one. Took the first place. Yeah. Among the men. Uh, how'd you feel with that? Uh, good. I think it's... Um, when we did the qualifying workouts, which was what, the row, the AMRAP, the row, handstand walk, double unders. Yep. I seem to have done well in that. It seems to be like movements I enjoyed doing, you know, after each other. Uh, the I haven't done more than 30 wall balls unbroken in, <laughs> in 13 months. <laughs> so to do 14, I thought, yeah, we got to, this is going to hurt a little. And I think in, into the third round, I was like, yeah, this is, you gotta make a decision if you wanna yeah. um, if you wanna hold on to this or not. So it yeah. was good. It was fun. That's what yeah. I was telling Matt. I was saying I, I don't know if Richard's done this many wall balls <laughs> in a while. No, no. <laughs> and I um, candidly I said um, the rule was I would go as hard as hard as I would train. I'm not allowed to push. Right. Just like based on where like the body is. Yeah. And then when in that third round, that's like in training, I would drop this right now. <laughs> and, I was like, and you're like, guys, oh, you know, maybe we'll we'll get a couple more reps in, see how we feel. Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> what would the better athlete do? Yes, yes. And then the yeah, and then and then, and then it really started to hurt. It was how, good. How'd you feel with the floor as as the humidity with the handstand walks? Did it seem like that affected you much or? Um, it was a little slippery. Yeah, I think. I think a big thing is trying to get your your the body weight over the hands as soon as possible. Yeah. Right. So that like you're almost like stepping with certainty rather than chasing your hands in front of you. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Like as you kick up, sometimes your hands are in front of you, and that could cause a slipping sensation. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was trying to be cognizant of that. Uh, but the floor the floor is a little bit slippery. So I appreciate with the the second workout them changing it to deadlifts from yeah. a safety perspective. Definitely a veteran move by uh, by Burn by doing that, being yeah. decisive, being like, hey, we gotta make it, we gotta make a change here. Yeah, and I th you know what it is? I think it, it shows receptiveness. Yeah. Like I think with what was what was really good is it showed it was like Burn came in with a plan, obviously with the workouts, and he made a call on on the on the fly that's like this isn't safe. Yeah. I'm gonna call in my core group of people, whoever they are, and we're gonna make a decision and go with it. Yeah. And I think like his ability to be receptive about that and change that says a lot about him and and the programming and the competition. Yeah, um, totally. And I think it was appreciated by the athletes from a safety perspective because that's the quickest way to do an ACL. And I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can attest you don't want to do that. So <laughs> yeah. I, that was appreciated. Yeah, totally. Well, uh, awesome job, man. Thank uh, you. We're gonna look forward to seeing you for the rest of the competition. Yeah. Looking forward to the next workout. It's close, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think it's gonna be close. I haven't done 50 pull-ups in a while either, so <laughs> we'll we'll see. It, it, I, I think you'll be all right. Yeah. It's smart. Pro it's smart. Pro it's smart programming, um, and I think it's gonna be fun. And I think the boys are um, are going full send. Yeah. So it's just like trying to be like, how would I approach this in training? How are we going to approach it with a training mentality? Because effectively, everyone here would be in the gym training yep. if they weren't competing. Right. So how do you yeah. get the most out of this day that is going to be effective in terms of carrying over for the rest of the season, rest of the year? Yeah. Uh, a smart way to look at it. Yeah, and I think if I can go into that, go into the, the workout with that kind of approach, it's going to benefit me long term. And if it's done right, then it might benefit me on the leaderboard. True. So that's True. the approach. I like that. Thanks, Good guys. luck, brother. Thank awesome. You. Good stuff, man. Thank Good you. Luck. And uh, yeah, good luck for the rest of it. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>